Have you seen the Father? Welcome to Rise Up. Happy Easter, hallelujah. It is Saturday. Have you seen the Father? I've talked a little bit during these Rise Up videos about my experience at Seek this past winter. And uh, a good friend of mine, Father Chase Hilgenbrink, is a priest of the Diocese of Peoria. And he had the opportunity to speak to 6,000 men on the second to last day. And uh, I was blessed just to be with him all week. I slept on his floor uh, in his hotel room. Very gracious of him to allow me to do that. But during his talk, he spoke about a common friend that we have. His name is Eric. He's a priest. And he was encouraging these 6,000 men that he was talking to, to be the face of the Father. Have you seen the Father? And Father Chase is encouraging these men, whether you get married, you as a dad are called to be the face of the Father. If you become a priest, you need to become the face of the Father. And he was talking about our friend Eric, and Eric had a, a very, very rough childhood. His mother... Uh, had made some really poor decisions. Uh, she had had multiple abortions prior to giving birth to him and just had problems like being in relationship with people because of the abortions. And um, one night on a Tuesday night, she made Eric get on the phone and uh, she gave the phone to her son and she had him repeat some of the most horrible and mean and nasty things to his dad. He never, ever, ever believed those things, but he was forced to say them by his mom, and he said them because his mom had threatened him to do so. Every Wednesday, his dad, mom and dad were divorced. His dad would come to school and bring his son lunch, and the two of them would eat together. And that following day, on Wednesday, Eric knew that his dad wasn't going to be there. In his sixth grade mind, there's no way that his dad would show up at school to have lunch with him after he had said such venomous things the day before. And the time for lunch came, he just sat in his seat and he didn't leave the classroom. And his mom, his teacher uh, asked him, like, why aren't you going to lunch? And he's like, I'm, just, I'm not going to have lunch today. And he started to cry a little bit. And he, teacher said, well, you need to at least go to the lunchroom. So he walked out of the classroom, and there was his dad walking down the hallway. And he had a bag of food in his hand. And Father Eric just started crying. And he said, I can't believe that you're here. I can't believe that you came. And his dad just looked at him, and he said, I know that's not you. I know that wasn't you. And uh, in Father Eric's uh, first five years of priesthood, he lost both his mom and his dad. And his mom, who had been away from the church for, uh, for many years, he was informed. She had actually left the family and estranged herself from her own son, who was a priest, didn't come to his priestly ordination at all. And it's about a week before he, she died, he was informed that she was, she was dying and he went and what he learned from his dad, he was the face of the father. And uh, he was able to bring his mom the sacraments, able to give her the grace of Christ and mercy and forgiveness and communion and the anointing at her death. What did Father Eric's dad say to him? I know that wasn't you. How many of us need to hear that? For those of us who have hurt people, for those of us who have found ourselves in situations where there's so much guilt, so much shame, I know that wasn't you. I know that wasn't you. I had the, uh, the honor of burying uh, Father Eric's dad. Father Eric had the 
the funeral mass for his dad and the burial was delayed and he asked if I'd be willing to, to come and say the prayers at the graveside for his dad and I did and he buried an amazing man that day. And Father Eric is an amazing priest because of his dad. Because a man looked at him and said, I know that wasn't you. So today I just want to say to you, I know that wasn't you. I know that wasn't you on the day that whatever happened in your life that you've replayed a thousand times over, I know it wasn't you. And God the Father says that to you as well. How many people in our world need to see the face of the Father? And they need to see the face of the Father in you and through you. Be the face of the Father. Be mercy. Be love. Be the face of the Father. God bless you and happy Easter.